I think that's got one of the funniest theme tunes on Chums BBC. That little What we'll do is I'll dig that little bit out and I'll play it tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, getting the nods. <laughs> I thought all oh, it's going to be a, look. That's a lot of work, Andy. Must you? But we will. We'll play this the bit I'm talking about. I think it's very funny. Keep your letters about theme tunes coming in as well. Also, your lazy letters. Keep those coming. Laura Alcock, who lives in Stoke on Trent. Your sister chews her chewing gum and sticks it in her hair so she knows where it is, and then your mum has to cut it out. That's lazy. Oh my word! What's going on? It's a drop alert. She's awfully far away. No use, just try this way round. Wow, this bitter. <whistles> ah! Right, uh, I'm off. What are you going to do then, Mr. Heap? <sighs> what are you lot doing anyway? We're waiting for the parachute drop. A parachute drop here? Yeah. How exciting. Hey, where's Mrs. Grissom? She wouldn't want to miss this. She won't miss it. <laughs> Why? Where is she? She's up there. What, in her bedroom? In the aeroplane. What's she doing with an aeroplane in her bedroom? <laughs> what? <laughs> Daft, Alan. She can't possibly hear you. No, the helmet will be covering her ears. Mick, why is she doing this? Oh, apparently, it's for charity. Which one? Weight Watchers? Actually, it's parrots. Parrots? Yeah, the National Parrot Society. Mm, very fond of parrots, is Vera. Had one for years, you know. Heartbroken she was when it died of flu. Parrots don't die of flu. This one did. Flew into a jumbo jet. No. <laughs> Look, she's going to jump! Oh, no. She's running me! There she goes. She looks so graceful. Like a whale on strings. So where does she land? She's going to land on that big target, Abbot. Where's it gone? What? The big target. It was on the lawn. Where's it gone? Oh, the target. I moved it. Where did you put it? Well, I put it on the roof. It's less far to fall. On the roof? Mick, you're kidding. You Here can't she the... comes! Oh, Here no. she comes! Oh, oh. Mrs. Grissel! There she goes! Oh, Mrs. Grissel! How many floors are there? Three. Roof. Third floor. Second floor. And... Ah, that's it, Myrtle! They've decided to get rid of us at last! They're dropping bombs on us! Now, stay calm, Myrtle. Stay calm. Just pack up. Everything you can carry, and quite calmly, panic! Ah! Well, look, Morty, I'm trying to think. You know, I reckon we should stay put. You're right! Yes, we won't be beaten down that easily. We'll show them what we're made of. We'll stand our ground, and that's a completely ridiculous idea, Myrtle. Quick, let's get out of here! Besides, they've probably got cats and traps out there to catch us if we make a break for it. We'll stand our ground! Cats and traps, you say? Yeah, we'll stand our ground. We will not be moved. We'll show them what we're made of. Mrs. Crystal, Mrs. Crystal, can you hear me? Mum, can you breathe? Can you move? Can you speak? Can you eat? I think she'll pull through. Dear, oh dear. Did you see that? She landed right on her head. Yep, the hotel never stood a chance. Well, thanks for being so quiet, Doctor. Uh, oh, quick. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Don't worry, Mrs. Crystal. You'll be up and about in no time. <laughs> yes, quite. Uh, well, I'll look for Alan and clear this mess up. <laughs> Alan? Has anybody seen Alan? Alan? Where's he got to? <laughs> Alan! Alan! Oh. oh! Mr. Gristle, come and help me with this lump. Right! Eustace! 
He's dead. Go and help Mr. Wall move your mum. But, uh, dead? No, <clears throat> not that lump. Uh, Mrs. Crystal, this lump, Eustace. Never fear, Mr. Wall. I am here. Eustace is ready and waiting to come to the aid of the needy, to answer the call of those poor souls tossed on the stormy sea of life's misfortune. Ask, and it shall be done. Speak, and Eustace the ever-ready will spring into action, no matter how busy. No matter who calls, Eustace Gristle, champion of the weak and the needy, is here to serve! Oh. Well, it doesn't matter, Eustace, I've done it. Oh. You look terrible. Anybody there? Of course Anybody? there's somebody there, you dipstick. <laughs> oh, charming. <laughs> Hello? Alan, can you hear me? You've had a nasty knock on your head. But it's all right, you're amongst friends. Friends? Oh, now we're getting somewhere. Yes, Alan, friends. <laughs> friends. 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 Oh. Romans. Countrymen. Lend me your ears. I am Caesar. I Dead. come to What's he want with my ears? Probably wants to plant potatoes in them. Hey, you two, <laughs> quick, come over here. Uh, we've got a problem. You know, it is possible that the blow on the head caused a temporary inflammation of the right cerebral hemisphere with a resultant increase in the haemoglobin balance of the intermeningal cortex. This would naturally lead to a regressive confusion of identity and temporal spatial disequilibrium. How did you know all that? Oh, uh, lucky guess. What does it mean? In layman's terms, Mr. Wall, Mr. Heap is off his trough. Off his trough? Yeah. yeah. Gar gar. One brick short of the full five shillings. Yeah. Off his yeah. rocker. Out to lunch. Do loud. Yeah. Daffy. Oh. Waggy. Weird. Goo yeah. goo. All know. right, I got the message. But what can we do about it? I mean, he's more than a hotel manager. He's a... He's a lunatic who thinks he's a Roman emperor. I was going to say he's a friend. You can't just lock him up and throw away the key. Well... Bang goes my suggestion. My people. My people. Where are my people? I don't know if I suggest you know what you're Hey, what do you, you mean? Oh, yeah. Come on, well, you make oh, yeah, 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 sure. Look, the thing is, we can't just snap him out of it. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to play him along. All right. Uh, just for a while. Just for a while. Play along. Along. So, yeah. A conspiracy. <laughs> An evil plot. What is your name, Senator? It's me, Mick. Me, Mick? That's a funny name. Um, he's Micus Wallius O. Caesar. Ah. You know. Oh, oh, yes, O. Caesar. Micus Wallius. You. Me? Guard. Uh, Bring Micus Wallius to me. Ah, uh, oh, yes, almighty Caesar. Uh, ah. Oh. Uh, I think I'm going to enjoy this. <laughs> oh, get in, get in. Get You'll be go, careful go, what go. you do with that thing. Stay along with him, you Play said, on. guard. <laughs> oh. Yes, come and go, mighty Caesarian. Get in there, Micus Wallius. <laughs> Micus Wallius. You have been found plotting against your beloved Caesar. That's me. I sentence you to be flung to the lions. Have you anything to say? Yes, I do. <laughs> A short speech, but each to his own. Guard, yeah. throw him to the lions. Right, with pleasure, yeah. Mummy Caesar. Go on, go on. <laughs> Alan, please. I mean, Caesar, please don't send me in there. Those wild yellow eyes, those claws, those fangs, the blood curdling roar. You're doing a great job. I can really picture those lions. Lions, nothing. I'm talking about chef. Guard, take him to the arena. Go on, get in there, lunchtime. Look, I think this has gone on far enough. Well, that's showbiz for you. Good job. Oh, break a leg, chef. Oh, as you as I come in, maybe I'll get you all out here. Anyway, I'll take a great fun. I'm your lunch and glory. You give me a book. Go 
Are you laughing? No. Enough, I suppose. Look at the blaze, Hawk. It looks like some sort of historical pageant. Mm. There's uh, Julius Caesar over there, and uh, Mrs. Grissom. She looks like that um, Egyptian pharaoh. What? Nefertiti? No, Tutankhamun. <laughs> 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 I am weary, Eustace Griselis. Yes, oh mighty Caesar. And I'm a bit pooped myself. <coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> Caesar, me old mush. Why don't you go up and grab 40 winks, eh? How dare you talk to me like that? I am Caesar. Oh, all right, all right. Keep your hair on. Have 80 winks if you like. Right. I will. Right. Where's the telly? Beetles are bounce on in a minute. <laughs> right, Vic Grisselus. Let's talk. Ah, oh, oh. Well, it was your idea. Humour him, you said. Play along. Well, the plan's changed. Come with me. Eustace. Oh, come here, Mr. Wall. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, oh. oh, we can't go on like this. All right, I'll be Caesar. No, I mean, it's got to stop. We can't have Alan running around and barking orders and getting up people's noses. Yeah, you're right. That's my job. How can we get him to snap out of it? Mr. Wall, Mr. Wall, I know the thing that we can do that will make Mr. Heap snap out of it. What's that then, Eustace? We can say, Mr. Heap, Mr. Heap, snap out of it. What do you think? I think I'll be snapping something out of you in a minute. Mm. What if he had another blow to his head? Your wishes, my command. Oh. It's no good. I can't sleep. My empire needs me. Oh, oh no. no. Mr. Wall, how did we get into this mess? Well, I can't think. Yep, that's one reason. Hmm. We'd have to do something, Dead. Yeah. Well, one of us has got to sort it out. Well, it's not going to be me. And it's not going to be me. Well, it's not going to be... Uh, why don't we pull straws? Yeah, all right. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. Right, OK. Yeah, no. <laughs> what, look. The longest straw loses. OK. Eeny, meeny, money. Hey. <clears throat> yeah. Right. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> right then, Alan, I'll tidy up and we'll get back to normal, eh? <laughs> we had a little bit of a meeting, you see, and uh, we did... Oi! My name is Caesar. No, it's not. It's Alan. Look, pack it in. So, the peasants are revolting. And you, Micus Wallius, you're the most revolting. Cool, at least I'm not barking mad. <laughs> Is that an insult? Yeah. Prepare to defend yourself. Yeah, you can't knock the skin off a rice pudding. Micus. <laughs> Wallace. Come on then, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah! Yeah!
Well, thank you for coming so quickly again, Doctor. Quickly. Uh, I'm sorry you didn't see Mrs. Grizzle. I can't imagine where she got to. What did he say, Mr. Wall? Oh, well, he said Miss Eve's going to be fine. Huh? He's forgotten all about being Caesar, oh. but he's just got to stay in bed. <laughs> Mr. Wall, here he comes now. Hello, Mr. Heat. Oh, hi, Eustace. Hey. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Grizzle. Uh, hi, uh, Mick. <laughs> uh, you shouldn't be walking about. You're right. I'll uh, go and get the bike. Oh. <laughs> shouldn't you be in bed? In bed? There's nothing wrong with me. <laughs> oh, of course not. Never was. Why should there be? Oh, no reason. <laughs> Is there something wrong with your eye? No. Oh, just wondered. Well, must go. <laughs> God, it's a relief to see him back to normal, isn't it? Mr. Wall! Alan! <laughs> they shall not pass. We will fight them on no, the teachers. You Wait. fight them, but quietly, so they can't hear you. Meanwhile, I'll go look for somewhere else to live. Okay? Oh, okay. <clears throat> We shall fight them on the tea chest. We shall fight them. Ah. Alan, are you sure you're all right? Never better. Well, why are you wearing antlers? Mick, I always wear antlers on a Tuesday. Of course. Alan. Mick, it's a Thursday. Why didn't you say so? I must look a fool. <laughs> Are you absolutely sure you're all right? Uh, oh, I'm fine. Uh, fine, 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 fine. <laughs> Why? Well, it's just, how can I put it? You're acting strange. Strange? <laughs> strange? <laughs> Dad, can I come down now? Who is this to the draft? <laughs> and you think I'm acting strange? Oh, I'm sorry, Alan. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I must go. I've got to service the dinosaur. You've got to what? Serve the dinner. So what do you think I said? <laughs> Dinner! Oh. Here, what's the matter with your nose? Nothing. What's the matter with yours? Oh, again. Right. Here we are. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you, Mr. Heat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ah, something missing. Mrs. Bristle. <laughs> Mrs. Grizzle! Mrs. like to order? Mr. Wall! Oh, hi, Eustace. I'm worried about Mr. Heat, Mr. Wall. I think he's strange. Oh, don't worry, Eustace. We all think he's strange. No, I mean, I think you'd better come and see for yourself. <clears throat> Mr. Wall! <sighs> Coming. Oh, <laughs> I'm keeping you from your dinner. And that won't do because you like it, don't you? <laughs> and here comes you. 
Eustace, Eustace, mm. Eustace, sit mm. down mm. and enjoy mm. your dinner. Mm. Today, I think it's alphabet mm. soup. Mm. I bet you haven't had that for a spell. <laughs> no. Ah, Mr. Grizzle, your fees. I ordered mushy peas. Uno momento. That's not proper mushy peas. They soon will be. Voila! Bees the mucky. I'm not eating that. You're mad. Wall. Oh, well, he's fully recovered. Mm. The doctor says he's like a new man. Oh, no! Who is he this time? <laughs> no, 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 no. I just mean he feels fine. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah, dizzy, I expect to normal. No more Romans or oh. wild, uncontrollable maniacs. <laughs> oh, hello, <sighs> Mum. Wait till I get my hair. Feeling OK? Good, it's amazing what a bit of rest can do with a lovely hair in staff. Mrs. Chris, you don't have to like me, Mrs. Chris. Mrs. Chris, you don't have to like me, Mrs. Chris. Mrs. Fell down. Good. Oh, uh, it's great. It's all back together again. Well done, Morty. <sighs> oh, Myrtle, you can come in now. I've mended our little nest. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank goodness, Morty. You know, it's so nice to be back in the comfort and safety of my own home. Yeah. <sighs> 